today I'm going to be showing you how I make my thumbnails for my videos. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download an app called Pixelab. I have it right there at the bottom. This is what it looks like. So after you download it, open the app and you'll be greeted by this screen right here. This is going to be your workplace. You're going to put anything you want in here. This is basically what you're going to do here. Uh, if, if you go down by uh, my projects, there is different like templates you can use for your background. If you want to do a meme, you can do this one. If you want to do a 3D text, all these different ones. But if you're going to pick your, pick your own background, I just go by default and just do that. And before you start, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press the three lines on top. And as you can see, this is your whole option area over here. Um, what you want to do is you want to go on image size right there and you can change how big you want it for example as a profile picture YouTube channel banner uh, YouTube thumbnail Facebook cover art but for this one we're gonna pick YouTube thumbnail just like that I'm gonna press OK and you can see the screen went down the screen of it went down so that actually put stuff in it what you want to do is you want to go on the plus icon right on top of it right up there there is text uh, current date sticker shapes these are all different things you can use to put, put to put on your thumbnail for example if you want to go in your gallery say you have pictures in your gallery that you want to use go from my gallery as you can see this is my downloads here um, I download these images so I can put them in my thumbnails if you want to get images like these just type up like say you want uh, Beerus you want Beerus on your cover just uh, type up on Google Dragon Ball Legends uh, Beerus PNG PNG stands for well I don't know what it actually means but I know what it does PNG is like it's like the picture that you actually want without a background so it's like the picture itself you're seeing right there no background behind it so for example if I want to use let's say I want to use uh, let's see let's go down I have God Goku here let me just use God Goku here and it looks like this on the Play Store, not the Play Store, I mean, on Google, like when you type in the PNG for the character you want, so say you type in Dragon Ball Legends, Super Saiyan God Goku PNG, it's gonna look like this, you're gonna see that checkered line kind of thing there, that like black and white kind of thing, you know what I mean. Uh, you can change the size of it, you can leave it as big as this, um, but for this sake, always uh, put it as close as possible, so that means you have less space you can use because you're gonna see the next part watch so just like that you have him right here so to delete something you just press it and delete it like that I'm gonna delete this text here so you can just like do you see that curvy line there you can just take that and swivel it put it any angle you want uh, this one widens it this one makes it longer and this one makes it bigger so say you want God Goku at the front you can just put him right there it's simple as that um, if you want to add a next picture go from my gallery uh, say you want to add let's see Super Saiyan 3 Goku alright uh, let's see I know I have a picture right here yeah there we go so Super Saiyan 3 Goku you want to minimize the screen so just like bring it across close to it so it just makes your whole uh, workplace look neater because it, as soon as you press it it's gonna show up big so that's why you want to make it small like that so say you want to put Super Saiyan Shri Goku beside him you want to make him bigger you just have him like that there you just fix God Goku there and say you want to put Super Saiyan uh, let's see Super Saiyan 2 Goku I have him right here and just make this small just like that and you can just put him at the side right there there we go like that so it's, it's as simple as that if you want to pick, uh, pick a background so let's say I want to use the New Year's Rising Rush background can just put it like this but as you can see it's blocking everything 
and this is going to be the next part of this on how to put layers on it how to put it in, in different layers different sections so for example if you want this to be behind the characters you want to go on the the icon underneath the three dots like that and this is your whole layer list um, if you want to hide the image or you want to block it for example if you want to press the image but not move it accidentally you just press this lock right here it keeps it in place so if I try to move it it just stays still if I unlock it now it's movable so let's say I want to lock this you can hide it if you want just this I button right here and just take it off like that simple as that and if you want to put this behind these characters what you want to do is you want to press press <laughs> You're gonna press on the icon on top of here, the little pencil thing. And what you can do is there's different options. You can copy it if you want. You can rotate it. But if you want to put it at the bottom, you press the one at the bottom. Uh, let's see, the bottom right, right here, like that. And it sends it to the bottom, just like that. If you want to put God Goku on top, you put him on the let's see the bottom left like that there we go god goku is there as you can see super saiyan tree goku is not by the side anymore it's because let me just fix it right there so you want to put him on top there we go just put him right there so if you want them to lock you can stay them right there see how it looks like you want to hide it you can hide it Want to unhide it just like that so you can do whatever you want you can play around with it if you want uh super saiyan god goku to stand out the most have him on top of everybody like that like that you can have super saiyan 2 goku on top it's it's simple like that uh so that's pretty much it on that so if you want to put like a text just press like the plus thing on top of here put text you can put sticker you can put shape if you want to put a shape in there you can go ahead for example if I want to pick uh, an X right here you can go down put a color on it just like that and the stroke width is like the lining on the edge so it's like that and press OK so say you want to put an X over this team here put them over Goku like that you can do that but I'm just gonna delete that because I don't want that so uh, if you go in your gal, no wait. Let me see what next. What is next? So yeah, the text. If you want to put a text, there it is up, up here. So you just bring it on the front. Oh yeah, this is different sections of it on the bottom here. Uh, different things you want to bring in it. So if you want to bring an arrow in it right here, you can change the top of it. You can do whatever you want put whatever color if you want to change the color press the plus right here trasher <laughs> all right and you can change it like that but we're not gonna do an arrow so you can do whatever you want you can color the whole thing you can put shapes you can draw on it if you want see like that but i don't want that uh, so just go on the A right here for the text. You can put style, browse, and there's a bunch of styles here you can choose. You can download your own uh, style as well if you want. Uh, so you can press copy here if you want. You can see a copy right there. Uh, let me just press it. You can change its position. If you want it here, there, you can do whatever you want. You can change its size. If you want it this big like that you can change this where you want it like that you can do whatever you want uh, the color you can change the color red you can put a gradient on it if you want like a little shade like that the color here you can put red but at the bottom here you want to put it like this so for example if you want to make new uh, the color green but you want to have text the color red you want to highlight the section that you want like that 
I press green and for text let's say I want to put a blue one go on the plus bring this all the way down to blue and it's just like that easy as that you can add in your own texture if you want so if you want to uh, let's see if you want to put a red texture you can put that like that you can put how big you want it like that but I don't want that so let me just remove that so to actually put words in it just press edit right here to actually change the words you can put I don't know like super saying God showcase whatever put whatever you want let me just lower this size just like that uh, there's all these other options you can rotate it you could mask it you can add it your own front if you want so if you want to put this one you want to put this one this one you say you want in this one here you can put it like that you can download your own font as well I have my own font here uh, you can put it in bold letters you can slant it you can put a underline you can put a line underneath it you can curve it like that you can put a background behind it like if you want like a tint or a general color behind it you can change the size of it how long you want it how tall you want it and just there you go like that um, you can put the space in if you want if you want to make it spaced out you want to make it small like that Inner space in, let's see. I don't think I've used this one. Oh, this just brings it down. Alright. Uh, the stroke is the outline of it, so if you want to put it like bold like that, you can have a, a black outline like that. You can change it to whatever color you want. Alright. So actually, I don't want the background. I don't ever use it. Wait, how do I even take it off? Oh, yeah, to take off something, you just go back like that if you want to undo something just like that uh, let's see I show you the stroke the shadow is it's like a let me show you you can put like a shadow around it I don't know if you see it but we'll look at the words there's like a dark a dark shadow there you can put it whatever color you want perspective you can enable it uh, you can pretty much change how you want it like that so you want to slant, slant it like this, you want, it sh you want it like this, you can do that. If you want to undo it, just go back. You can put a 3D text like that, make it stand out like that. You can do whatever you want, you can darken it, lighten it. Uh, in reflection, press enable, and it just shows it like, well you see it right? Like that, you can show how far you want it. So that's basically it. So let me just do this in my own style. So I'm just gonna put it red. Just like that. Let me go over to uh, the stroke. Stroke give it, gives it that outline. So you see, it's, it's very simple. You can put it here you want. Super Saiyan God Showcase. And you can have your other two teammates right by side. You can put an arrow there, like I said. Um, let's see. I mean, you don't have to worry about these other stuff. These other stuff is just for the background. But since you already have a background here, you don't need to worry about this. Um, so let me see. Where is the shapes? Where is the shapes? Oh, wow. My phone is about to die. But that's pretty much it. You can change it, but if you change it to this, it's gonna erase everything. So if you wanna lock the words in, let me just get my charger real quick. There we go. You wanna lock the words so it doesn't move. You can hide it if you want. You can take it off. So just like that, and all you have to do to save it is press the save button on top of here. 
save image save as project you can share it if you want so that's pretty much it I mean there's other stuff in here but you don't necessarily need it so if you want to put like an arrow you can put an arrow here you want to import a picture draw do a little doodle right here uh, let me see so if I want to put an arrow here to highlight Goku you can change the arrow top if you want you can change its size like that so if I want to make the make it red and have the stroke like that so yeah it's pretty much easy like that if you want to, if I want to make it blue like that so you know you can show him off like that yeah so it's that simple so we saying God Goku showcase and you can just upload it to your video but if you don't know how to put it on your video I'll show you that so for example I want to save this image save to my gallery all right this is just an ad here so that's it really um, for example if you want to put it on your videos you can download an app called YouTube studios it basically keeps everything in a neat pile for you your comments uh, your subscribers your views everything so if I just go over to it right here so I already have a video here so let me just go back so you can see it this is the app so this is my videos here if you wanna press the video just press view more press my video you wanna edit it just press the little pencil on top there and you wanna edit, edit the thumbnail you just press this and press change there's my pixel lab thumbnail right there and I can select it and put it there if I want but I don't want to use this because I already have a thumbnail on it but you just press select and OK or whatever comes next and that's pretty much it this app allows you to um, customize your videos do whatever you want it's pretty decent so that's pretty much it on this video if you liked it subscribe to the channel I'll be doing a, a PvP video tomorrow hopefully yeah and I'll probably do, do a summoning video on Broly so yeah that's pretty much it if you're new to the channel subscribe to it if you want to see my live streams uh, make sure to stay up late because I live stream late at night uh, if you want to fight me on my, on my live streams just subscribe to the channel that's pretty much it you got any friends that need help with this you can show them this help them out so that's going to be it guys. I hope you like this video.